Good evening and welcome to your call. Joining me tonight, someone who is truly a trailblazer. The best known Indian contemporary artist globally, whose installation, The Magnificent LOC, is now showing in Delhi. Joining me tonight is artist Subodh Gupta, but let's just first look at the highlights of his dramatic life and career. Mr. Gupta, an amazing journey, and I'm happy that one stop of that journey, at least of your work, is currently with the installation LOC in Delhi. Now, this is your largest ever installation. I want to some of the reactions uh, of viewers who've actually uh, walked in there. Let's just hear what they've got to say. Mr. Gupta, we have seen your piece of art, which is very beautiful, conveying a lot of message. We want to know what was in your mind and who inspired you in this respect, that what message you want to give it to us or to the society. If you wanted to know about the work, the work is basically based on uh, uh, um, line of control is mm. called. But line of control, I given the reason because we is not line of control. We're talking about the border. We're talking about the line of control where the we uh, you can see the everyday news these days as well. Mm -hmm. But I um, remember six years ago, you know, we're talking about the atomic bomb when our two uh, uh, leaders between talking about and that. They're saying about it, okay, if I will throw the bomb, 25 million people will die. So all this, uh, you know, and we normal people, you know, we not aware about it and we aware about we can't do much because leader, they take a decision. And sometimes... And similar talk again, just this week, so it really is contemporary with the Agni 5 missile and where it can strike. So did that strike you as an interesting coincidence? Uh, that uh, LOC is being exhibited in Delhi when you're talking again about nuclear missiles. Exactly. Look at the, uh, 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 you know, North Korea threatening the South Korea. Look at the after the Agni missile happened to the India and then Pakistan did it yesterday, day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. So it's like, uh, you know, it is where we creating the monster. And this monster going to harm us, end of the day, destroy us. And this work is about that. And when you see the stainless steel utensil, it's glazing, it's shining. So when you... Uh, uh, launch something like that, you need a money to do that. Mm -hmm. So it's like pro, uh, you're talking about the shining India, but same time is talking about the other part of the India, like destroy India. And same time I'm talking about shining utensil with the other part of the utensil is the empty utensil. Mm -hmm. So many things, many, many little, little story come together to make one piece of artwork. The other controversial work of yours, that video, yeah. where you had uh, covered yourself with cow dung and then it was washed off you. Now that was something which again, created a statement in a sense. So it took me time to understanding what is it. And when I understanding start little, little bit, then I recognize that it's the only way to create something very new where I'm coming from. And my childhood memory, my contemporary life today where I live and work. And uh, I remember uh, from childhood when I was growing up, so uh, born in the Hindu family, so I saw so much ritual. And those rituals remind me, uh, I tell you a coincident, when my mother uh, used to do the puja, it's called Satnaran Swami Puja. Mm -hmm. And I remember she used to always demand me three things. The mango leaf, mm -hmm. milky grass, it's called Dudhya Ghas, and uh, Gobar. And she used to do with the Gobar and Ganesha. So Gobar bringing from the cow, you know, it's like we touching the cow dung from childhood mm -hmm. with the very different aspects. But anyway, this is the medium where you can explore it yourself and do something with it. So when I saw the, especially when you take the train from the uh, uh, eastern part to come to the city, you see the many houses done with the cow dung cake. Yes. And those cow dung cake is a, look like installation piece of, of uh, itself. So I try to explore that idea. And uh, always when we talk about the cow dung, we talk about the purity. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about the purity, how can we sit can be pure? No, that's uh, uh, because only the belief. Belief is something like human seed, dog seed, cow mm -hmm. seed. But belief is something, make that cow seed something very special, something very different. 
and that's the, uh, I like to create art out of it. So what I done, I remember I made the pure video where I cover myself in the cow dung mm -hmm. and had a shower with it, mm -hmm. and I'm puring myself and puring in the space, puring in the life, puring in the art world. No, so that was the idea behind it. And interestingly, in a show like this, we do have your, your wife to ask you a question. As everyone knows, she's a well a contemporary artist, uh, as well known as you uh, globally, uh, Bharti Kher. And uh, you have a completely different, I think, a unique perspective, uh, really, on Subodh Gupta. Go ahead and ask him your question. It's more than I've known each other for over 20 years now. There's not really many questions that I have from that I don't know the answers for. Um, there's just, there is one, and I think it's a kind of very fundamental question. I think it's something that's very close to Subod. Um, if Subod, you, like so many artists um, around the world, uh, could have gone, say, you could have gone to New York, you could have gone to London, you could have gone to Paris. In fact, when I travel with you all around the world, you're um, you're recognized, uh, people celebrate your work. Um, in India, still, we're a kind of guinea pig generation. Um, and, that's not, and that's not a criticism, that's really just a, an, an observation. What is it that has kept you uh, uh, very much rooted in India for these past 21 years that I've known you? Well, uh, actually, when I married you uh, 20 years ago, and you came from Britain, she has a British passport, so I thought, is she going to take me Europe now? <laughs> and I'm going to go overseas. But like she never. All good Bihari boys yes, want to go overseas. Yes, and she said, okay, no, see, I'm going to stay in India. Okay, <laughs> here you go. And uh, that's the reason I stayed here. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, basically, when I met her, I thought, okay, I'm going out. <laughs> and uh, that was my whole theory, and I was very excited. <laughs> but it didn't happen. She said, she liked India, and she just stayed here. So I stayed here. That was the main reason, basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, no doubt, sometime you do feel now uh, you to go out and abroad because uh, uh, you access to the world. Mm -hmm. You, your most, our both of our practice is abroad, not mm -hmm. in India anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, mostly, 99% we practice our art abroad. We exhibited abroad uh, more than India. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news, and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.